Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Saturday 18th, May 2024. Saturday of the seventh week of Eastertide. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ, and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity. Grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The Word of the Lord. Thanks. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. 
The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by, by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to them, he said to him, follow me. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel passage today presents to us a profound moment of restoration and calling between Jesus and Peter. In this narrative, after the resurrection, Jesus asked Peter three times if he loves him mirroring Peter's three denials. Each time Peter affirms his love, Jesus responds with a commission, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, and feed my sheep. This dialogue culminates a point and call to Peter to follow Jesus despite the cost it may entail. This passage invites each of us to reflect on the nature of love, forgiveness, and commitment. It reminds us that our relationship with the divine is not contingent on our perfection, but on our willingness to love earnestly and to be restored when we falter. 
Jesus' repeated questioning of Peter is not just a reaffirmation of Peter's commitment, but also a demonstration of his infinite grace, reminding us that we, too, are offered endless chances to start anew. Moreover, the directive to care for his flock is a universal call to responsibility. It also challenges us to nurture, guide, and protect those who are in charge, who those in our charge, whether they be our family, friends, community, or anyone who is vulnerable. This command underscores the principle that love is an active, serving, and sacrificial endeavor. Our love for others is demonstrated in our daily actions and decisions, reflecting our love for the divine. In our journey, remember that every setback is a setup for a comeback. Let us embrace the forgiveness, forgiveness that is freely given and extend it to others. May we be steadfast in our commitment to serve and love, even in the face of challenges. For in doing so, we are following in the footsteps of Jesus, propelled by faith and love, and sustained by His grace. St. John Bosco, Jesus, King of mercy, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Let us all together pray the Oratio Imparata at Petendam Tubia. God, our loving Father, Creator of our earth and of the universe, and of all the wondrous elements of nature that sustain your living creatures, we humbly ask you to grant us relief from the extreme heat that beset your people at this time, disrupting their activities and threatening their lives and livelihoods. Send us rain to replenish our depleting water sources, to irrigate our fields, to stave off water and power shortages, and to provide water for our daily needs. At your command, the wind and the seas obey. Raise Which, your hand, uh, Almighty, Almighty God, to avert the, the continuing, continuing rise in, in temperatures, temperatures, so, so that, that your people can, can engage in productive undertakings. And, and our, our young, young people, people can, can pursue, pursue learning in tranquility and comfort. Merciful and generous God, open our eyes to the richness and beauty of your creation, and instill in us a deep love for this earth and all that is in and around it. Teach us to be wise stewards of your creation, so that we may always use them responsibly and protect them from the abuse and exploitation. All this time of crisis, dear Lord, hope us to share more, to serve more, and to love more. Loving God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you entrusted the Filipino people to be the special care of Mary, our mother. Listen to the prayers that we bring up to her, our Blessed Mother, to intercede for us for the protection of our land and our people whom she loves. Grant, Grant this to our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. St. Rose of Lima, pray for us. St. Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. St. Pedro Calusod.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you, that the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciousness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us heirs in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts, sing together then ending him of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, with St. John Bosco and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be course to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant we pray that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sa Don Bosco, masaya. Sama, sama.
cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video nếu thấy hay hãy nhấn like đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé